Hey guys, guess who's back? Well, it's been quite some time since my last video and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda lost the buzz, to be honest with you. I was contemplating, just giving up, not bothering. Just all in all, didn't really feel like doing videos anymore. You know, it's not that I don't enjoy fragrances, still truly enjoy fragrances, been purchasing fragrances, just, I don't know, just didn't really have have the buzz to uh, to be putting videos out anymore. So I thought instead of taking the rash decision to just step right out of it, I took some time off, chilled out, cleared my head, and thought, you know what, nah, I'm not done. So I come back on, checked my YouTube, and I seen that I am now up to over 500 subscribers so guys truly honestly for all you people who sub to my channel i really really appreciate it guys i'm not in this for subs i don't really care if i get a thousand ten thousand whatever it, it makes no difference to me if i decide one person sub to my channel and my one person enjoyed my reviews and and bought some of the fragrances that i suggested that's good enough for me but to know that that many people truly enjoy watching my videos just means a lot guys so i'd like to thank you for that and yeah i'm back and to be honest with you guys it's a little bit of a and, and a, well i say a little bit of very unknown fragrance in fact there's only one person who's reviewed this fragrance and that's mr oz now i have actually questioned him before because before i bought this fragrance i kind of asked his opinion on this house which obviously by the title You've already seen it you know what the house is so he gave me good feedback on this and he's the only person who's reviewed this fragrance from this house so guys i'm gonna jump straight into it now after my little bit of a sob story at the start and that house is fragrance world and the scent i have here today is i don't know if pick that up it's ebony scent intense really sorry about the poor lighting guys a uh, bit of a change of scenery this video so the bottle itself is solid good quality glass bottle it's got a brown kind of tint to it you can see the juice inside which I like it's also got a nice color in on the front where you got you really can't see that the ebony scent intense is a nice leather cut out which has been stuck to the bottle not overly expensive and impressive but just an all-round nice touch the lid is plastic with a leather strap around it it's a good fit obviously i'm not going to chuck it around the room but it's a good fit all in all bottle presentation i really enjoy and it's heavy guys it's a good heavy quality bottle you could use as a doorstop so we move on to the sprayer so the sprayer guys in this i really enjoy it's not ridiculous amount of juice so that you've got these big wet patches on your neck and your chest but at the same time it gives out a good amount of juice you get good coverage hopefully you'll be able to pick yourself up the pool like then you know that's that's a good good distance that i like to spray from don't go too close because it just hits that one area and i don't go too far because you tend not to get too much of the juice and also this nonsense about spraying and walking into it. <sighs> nah. Crap. Now, this fragrance, um, this house, Fragrance World, they are a clone house. Now, this is apparently, and I've never smelled this scent, guys, so this is not a comparison video. I'm just going to tell you what I think of this scent. But apparently, this smells like Gucci Oud. Now, looking at the notes, Gucci Oud has pear, saffron, raspberries, um, amongst other things, you know, amber. I was really, it's really tricky to find anything about these fragrances online, guys, the notes. I, I, I found three notes, three, three notes out of the whole composition of this thing, three notes I found online. Pear, saffron, and raspberries. Those three notes tie in just right with Gucci Oud. Now... 
I honestly, guys, can't tell you if it's if, if it's a good clone, if it smells just like it, because I've never smelled that. It was a thing that really appealed to me. I was interested in finding a new house, because obviously we've all the Rosasi, Latafa, Al Haramain, Ardal Zafran, fantastic. But I wanted to try and find an undiscovered house to bring to you guys. So when I was chatting away to my my good man Zohe, shout out to Zohe. He always sorts me out with these fragrances, guys. Really, really fantastic service from the guy. You know, I've done videos before with his products. Outstanding customer service. And I always get some nice little samples, um, which I do tend to sample and then purchase because I do enjoy them. And no, you don't pay me a thing. What are you messing, mate? Now, he told me this was a clone of Gucci Oud. And what I get on the top I, I, I really, really get a strong pear. Very sweet pear. And saffron. Little, little bit of raspberry. Little bit. But the pear is very prominent. Sweet pear and saffron. Now, I've given this a wear in. And as, as it dries down, the pear kind of disappears, the saffron stays prominent and they get sweet, ambery, and it's very, very, very unisex, guys. Very unisex. I'd actually say it's a 60-40 split to the females. This is not a masculine fragrance. It's not a unisex fragrance for everybody neither. You've really got to not be shy. You, you, you can't be the type of guy that wants to be a man, do you know what I mean, and, and, and wear this. You've got to be... Very open-minded. But it is really nice. As soon as I spray this on, my missus smelled it. She went, oh, that's a date night fragrance. Go away that next time we go out. She really enjoyed it. And in fact, I've actually caught her trying to take this off my shelf and put it on hers. The bloody cheek. But it's a really nice, rich, sweet sexy fragrance guys male or female you will both enjoy this females it's not a happy-go-lucky playful female fragrance so you've got to like your deep your dark your seductive fragrances for the female to wear it and men you've got to like your your sweet dark feminine ish type of fragrances to really get on board with this guys right so if you're a manly man don't bother please walk on by but what I will say, guys, it's very, very rare I can spray a fragrance and obviously within the first half hour, I, 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 can, I can smell it. But this one, guys, two, three hours in, it was very prominent, very, very prominent. And usually with a fragrance, six, seven hours in, I'm getting, I'm getting wafts. You're in there, you're in out the car, moving around, doing stuff. You can smell it. But this one was just like a big bubble, a big scent bubble around me for a good two or three hours. I haven't really worn it enough for it to kind of bring compliments my way. But the amount of testing I've done, like I say the longevity is really good guys. You get you get good project but excuse me, good projection for a good two or three hours and then it dies down six hour mark, you're probably looking about arm's length. And then, you know, into the eight, 10 hour mark, it starts to come closer to the skin. That's fantastic, guys, because this, for a 100 ml eau de parfum, was 20 quid. Free delivery, signed for delivery, so that's good quality delivery. I can't fault them. Right? So here, thank you, my friend. Can't fault them. Cheap as chips, guys, because it is a fantastic fragrance. Now, this house, Fragrance World, I've got another bottle, full bottle to come, review. Which I think a lot of you guys will be interested in and I got some samples that I'm either going to review the samples or I may in fact buy the bottles because I'm that impressed with this house Fragrance World they, they, they're quite hard to come by but what you will see on the internet is Fragrance World and Lauren Jane now Zohe if you watch this if not I'll hit you up in an email can you kind of shed some light on that because I don't understand the Fragrance World and, and Lauren Jane or I'm sure that's the name they seem to kind of I don't know whether they're sister companies or whether there's like in, in the UK is 
Freedom's World in, in Europe is launching, I'm unsure. But anyway, they have a small amount of products. They haven't got the, the type of fragrances knocking about like Rosassi and Latafa and Al Haramein and all those other guys. But the quality of the juice is definitely, definitely up there with them, guys. It's fantastic quality. So, all in all, guys, is it a Gucci Oud clone? I don't know. If you own Gucci Oud, if you smell it there and you fancy picking this up, have a sniff, get back to me, let me know, because I'd be interested to know. In fact, next time I'm out and about, I'm going to get a sample, and I may just come back. But guys, honestly, beautiful fragrance, really nice, seductive, sexy, but pretty feminine. Bear that in mind. So guys, Fragrance World, really impressed. Really, really impressed. My man Ify, he's been keeping on for me to bring this video out. In fact, he's a, he's a little bit of the reason, in fact, he's a lot of the reason that I, I, I step back into the game and this video has come up to you guys because he's been on me to bring it out to him ever since I mentioned this house. So Ify, I hope this video is to your liking and no doubt you'll be picking up a bottle of this house because I think you are really going to enjoy this fragrance. So that's the review guys. Fragrance World is a new player in the game. And he's, he, he's, he's coming swinging. I won't like you. Now before I close this video guys, I've recently stumbled upon, and this will only really interest my, my bearded brothers out there, uh, a, a channel on YouTube, Beard Instructor. Now this guy, <laughs> kind of looks like me, bald head, beard, but he does some really fantastic beard reviews. And not just that, head shaving, grooming, um, makes his own beard oils. Really good guys, really, really nice quality videos. Very polite. Uh, we've had a bit of banter back and forth and he, he, is, he is very good. I watch a lot of beard reviews and, 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 and beard grooming videos on YouTube. And I stumbled upon this guy and I, I had a sub and I had to contact him straight away and just tell him how much I enjoyed his videos. So for all you beardos, beard lovers, beard brothers, whatever you want to call yourself, who are subbed to my channel, check him out. I'll try and, I'll try and put his, his link down in the description if I can. I'm not extremely high tech and you know savvy with all this nonsense. So I'll do my best. But if not, look him up on YouTube, Beard Instructor. Fantastic guy. Anyway, guys. That's me, that's a wrap, I'm back, see you soon.